Hello everybody and welcome back to Back Guy Nick and today I'm back with a movie a movie review. Uh, I'm gonna start uh, doing more videos now and that means uh, I want to start doing more movie reviews. To be more specific, movie reviews that uh, movie reviews of movies that I see in theaters, not movies that I see on streaming services or any of that. Just movies that I see in movie theaters. And today, I just got back from seeing the new movie, Vengeance, written and directed, and also starring B.J. Novak. You may know, of, uh, know him from his office fame as Ryan, the temp. Uh, uh, in the show, Ryan was one of my favorite characters, and I always loved B.J. Novak. And uh, B.J. Novak is, a is one of the writers of The Office. He wrote a bunch of the episodes. He also, I don't know if he directed a few of the episodes. I, I don't know, but I know he uh, wrote most of the episodes, and most of those episodes are pretty damn funny. So uh, when I first saw the trailer for Vengeance, I was like, okay, it's probably just a uh, fun little movie that he's doing. You know, it looks, well, it looks decent. I wasn't really super invested. I was kind of like, okay, cool. Um, as time went on, though, I saw more of the trailers, and I was like, okay, maybe I'll see it. And then uh, the other day, I was looking on Fandango, and I was like, oh, cool, Vengeance is out. And I'm like, well, I want to see a movie tomorrow. So I'm like, okay, cool, I'm going to go see Vengeance, because, well, I mean, I do like B.J. Novak as a actor, writer, and all that shit. So I was like, okay, cool. I'm gonna go see Vengeance. Uh, I knew I was gonna have a good time with it. The cast looked pretty good. The trailers were good. I was like, okay, cool. So I go in, I see the movie, I sit down. I got popcorn. I went, I, uh, actually, I ran into my buddy Winston, who works at the movie theater at the concession stand. And I mean, him had a quick little chat. It was pretty funny. Anyways, uh, I walk in, I watch the trailers, I got my popcorn, I got my drink, got all that shit. So I sit down, movie starts. And, uh, the 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 hour and forty seven minutes that this movie this movie's runtime, I was completely unexpected. Um, there was only one part of this movie that I found predictable, and uh, that was not not the ending ending, but a part of it. But then everything else was kind of like okay, that was uh, that was unexpected. Uh, so first and foremost, uh, it, God, I don't want to talk about spoilers because. Honestly, any of my movie reviews aren't going to be spoilers, because if I'm reviewing the movie, that means you should definitely go see it. For the most part, it definitely depends on uh, what the movie is. If I'm talking about spoilers, that means you shouldn't see the movie. If I'm not talking about spoilers, that means you should see the movie. So I won't talk about spoilers, but I will mention some things that are spoilery, so um, I'll say this. Uh, first half of this review would be no spoilers, second half would be spoilers. So, let's just get right into it. Well, second half, mostly spoilers for the most part. Anyways, let me get into this. Um, so, first off, the story. So, it's ba the main story is uh, BJ Novak's character, Ben, is a journalist and a podcaster from New York City. He writes for the New Yorker. So, he gets a call from this girl's brother who he was hooking up with, uh, saying that she had died. And he goes, so he goes to Texas because he kind of gets dragged out there. Doesn't really know what to do, so he gets dragged out to Texas. And then the brother is like, she wasn't, uh, she didn't overdose, she was murdered. So he stays in Texas to try and figure out, try to investigate this entire thing because he thinks there's a story here because he's been looking for a story, something that he could um, bring to the table in a podcast or in any, in a podcast basically. I don't know. I don't want him in any sense. He's just a podcast. That's, that's his whole thing here. He wants to do a podcast, and he thinks this is the next big story. So he stays in Texas, and he meets the family. He meets a bunch of other people. He records interviews. He does everything. Learns more about uh, Abilene, which is the character in the movie. And at the end of the movie, he basically not going to say until probably the end of the video. Anyways, that's the story. So first and foremost, um. The story is definitely different. I don't have. I haven't really seen uh, a story kind of like this. That's you know, obviously it's a new story or something different. I I mean, some movies have probably some done something sort of like this. I don't think it hasn't really. So this is definitely a this is definitely a different thing, and I think a, an original a good original idea. So I, I liked it for that. It was something funny. It was something interesting. Something intriguing. Hence why I was my ass was sitting in that theater because I was like that looks very intriguing. So um, story itself was great from beginning to end. I was on the grip of my seat, on the edge of my seat, I should say. I was laughing. 
I was smiling. I was like grabbing my chest because I'm like, holy shit! Like this is. I'm like, uh, most of the story got really like um, touchy feely. Surprisingly, like most, like some of the, some of the parts in this movie were very emotional, in my opinion. Like I was honestly touched sometimes. I was like, holy shit! I'm like, eh. I was like tearing up a little bit. I was like, god damn! And I was like, it was really surprising to me. And it 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 it, it, it got it surprisingly made me emo uh, more emotional than I thought it would. Uh, so the story is great. That that's it. I really really don't have any flaws with it. Um, mm, not really. I think most of my flaws kind of come with uh, the spoilers, so I won't get into that yet. Well, there's some some uh, some with the story, but next is of course with the characters. The characters, I think, uh, of course, B.J. Novak is Ben. He's the main character. He does a great fucking job. B.J. Novak is a great actor. He kills it in this role. He kills it in this movie. Loved his character to death. Funny, uh, funny, uh, stupid, and just, just all around great character. Loved him. Uh, Ashton Kutcher was in this movie. He was in this movie for um, about about four parts of the like, about four parts of the movie, and he's in there for like a good solid chunk of those four parts and he fucking steals the show every especially the end too this man clears every scene that he's in he go he walks in that didn't he did not phone it in once he got in there and just cleared the stage i mean my god ashton kutcher was just beyond what i expected him to be just and and his character is um he, he plays a music producer in the uh a record producer in the movie and a part of me thought his character was gonna be fun all jokey and shit and his character is at times and uh his character is kind of a little bit preaching to the choir a bit but he also says some real like uh, real like fucking shit that makes you think and you're like oh my god There's, especially the first time we meet his character uh, even Ben is like, holy shit. He like leaves with a big old smile on his face, like, oh my god, he's like, he's right. He's like, uh, uh, and it's not like cold kind of shit, it's just him being truthful and him saying, like, hey, this, this, and that. And I'm like, oh, okay. That's the part of the movie that I was like sitting back, and I was like, oh my god. I'm like, Jesus. Um, that actually gets to the writing, which I'll get into later. Uh, a few of the other characters, uh, Boyd Holbrook, I have the thing right here, who played Ty Shaw, he, you see him in the trailers, he plays the brother, I thought he was great, I thought he was pretty funny, uh, yeah, that, uh, I think like they could have utilized him more, but, uh, I think, the, but the main focus was, uh, Ben's character, Dove Cameron's in this, playing a girl named Jasmine, as a sister, uh, doesn't, so, doesn't show up much, but she's pretty funny, uh, Isabella Mar Ferris, she also plays a sister. They kind of have a thing going, which is pretty funny. Um, Isa, uh, Isa Ray plays Eloise. She shows up throughout the movie as his, uh, as his, uh, producer that he works with, Ben's producer. And they talk throughout the movie. She's pretty funny at times. And then everyone else in the movie is kind of, uh, is good. The mom especially, I love the mom. Uh, I thought she was cool, especially at the, uh, towards the end of the, uh, end of the movie specifically. Again, I won't get into that in spoilers, but she was uh, great at the end of the movie as well. Uh, that's kind of it for characters. Of course, uh, B.J. Novak and Ashley Kutcher stole the show. They they won. They 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 got all the uh, praise there, and honestly, so does everyone else. Uh, now we get to the writing. I really have no issues with the writing at all. I feel like um, I mean. I feel like there's some things that could have been touched on, but to be honest, that's mainly with character writing more than anything. Uh, I, that, that drags me back to that. Uh, I feel like most of the characters should have been probably could have been expanded on a bit more. I feel like they could have done something more with uh, with certain characters, you know, shown a little more of the story, what their relationship was with the, with their sister specifically, how her relationship, how Abilene's relationship was with her family, and all that stuff. We didn't really know much about it. We just kind of heard stories from her sisters. And the brother, and the mom, and the granny, and the bro and the little brother. Uh, we didn't we didn't really hear much. And I feel like writing wise, they could have uh, he could uh, BJ Novak could have uh, put a little bit uh, more emphasis on that, and especially with how the story kind of focuses on family a little bit. Uh, well, its main focus is kind of family, not a little bit, but it does uh, 
talk about family and all that stuff. So with writing though, that's pretty much it. But everything else is really, really, really well written. And there's, there's uh, some certain twists, um, which I guess now I would get into spoilers. But towards the end, when I tell my final score, then I'll go back to regular spoilers. So I'm in a monkey's right now. That's when I'm going to start talking about spoilers. And cut to here if you don't want to hear any spoilers. So anyways, spoiler alert. Um... So at the end of the movie, uh, Ben has the entire podcast, is ready to go, and then he finally figures out, like, what went down. So in the, sto in the story, uh, Ab Abilene is found in a place called the After Party. It is where all these, where a big old party goes down every other night, everyone goes there, there's no cell reception, it's quiet, people just go there to drink and do their things. So Ashton Kutcher's character... Uh, Quentin Sellers, he is an opioid uh, dealer, which we find out at the end of the movie, and he's he basically uh, drugs the up, she drugs up these girls, drags them to the middle of the after party, and leaves them there to die. Then that's what happened to Abilene. She was left there to die, and uh, by Quentin. So Ben finds that out. He goes, he confronts him, and he tells this whole spiel how about how. Well, they're going to hate me for a while, but uh, sooner or later, someone's going to be like, well, there's a big difference between leaving somebody to die and killing someone. And then all of a sudden, they're going to turn to you, Ben. They're going to ask, why did you come to Texas? Why were you asking about the story? And he's talking about how the family is just, the family are just characters to you. You know, they're not going to be famous people, they're going to be just characters. And the thing about Ben is, Ben is like, he's like... He knows he's right. He's he knows that uh, Quentin is right about everything he's saying. So then, you know, he he has a gun on him and he kills Quentin. He 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 finishes recording him, turns it off, and then kills him. Shoots shoots him dead. I was shocked. I was like, holy shit! He fucking killed him. He he, he shot him. It was a big twist. Did it feel a tiny bit out of place? A little bit, but it, in terms of the movie, I was like, oh, wow. You know, and it feels like with movies like these, um, those kind of twists kind of honestly kind of happen. I mean, hell, you look at some of Quentin Tarantino's movies, uh, despite how, like, I mean, actually, yeah, you look at The Hateful Eight, and that whole entire buildup is like uh, all this, you know, talking and uh, interesting dialogue about how people got here and how they all got to this cabin. And then at the end of the movie is where everything goes sideways. That's what this movie feel, felt like. Except it wasn't, of course, to that grand of scale. But you still got that where you're like, oh, you're like, holy shit, he just fucking killed him. You know? And then he wipes the podcast. He deletes everything, all the audio, all the, uh, everything. He deletes it all because he knows if he posts that, it's done. You know, that that's it. You know, is not hiding it. What's gonna happen? He's gonna, of course, he will be caught. All this stuff. So he deletes the podcast. But he still tell. He tells the. I know he tells the brother. He tells the brother that hey, Quentin did it. I killed him. And that was it. He 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 gets Quentin. He gets uh, the little brother, and they get the hell out of the after party. The cops who are idiots, supposedly idiots in this movie, uh, they're like, oh, just an accident, and that was it. So then. He, so then he gets he gets back home, and he gets back to the house that he's staying at with the family, and he's talking to the mother, and he's like, I'm heading out, and she's like, you're going to need a ride. So she's, so she's driving him out, and she's like, what are you going to do next? He's like, I'm going to find the next story. And she's talking to him about life, and she's and the what I loved so much was the ending, and she was saying, she was like, uh, life is just a bunch of regrets. Uh, regrets, 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 that's what life should be. So make it count, and the movie ends. At and I know I'm misquoting it a little bit, but that's basically what she said. She said regrets, 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 regrets. That's what it is. So make it count. You know, make them count. Make the regrets count. And I'm like, sitting in the theater, just like, holy shit. If you saw my story, I was say I legit said holy fuck, because. I was blown away by this entire movie, and 
it just it, it just completely every part of this movie blew me away. It really did. Uh, so that's it for spoilers right there. So hey, welcome back to the non-spoiler review, where uh, I just talked about the whole ending of the movie. So hopefully you just skipped that whole part and didn't uh, see any of that. Anyways, uh, the ending of the movie is my favorite part of the movie. The entire ending is just one big twist. Not a big twist, but like a twist that is unexpected and it works. And it's also a very beautiful ending and a very sad ending. And it's also just really heartwarming and like not, but oh guys, I just love the ending. Uh, other than that, the uh, cinematography, the score, beautiful. I really did love the score, especially in the ending of the movie. And the cinematography was genuinely actually really good. Um, last part is the comedy. The comedy was actually really solid. BJ Novak is pretty fucking funny. There was like five parts in this movie where I literally broke out laughing, uh, trying to hold in my laugh. I, well, I wasn't holding it in, but I, I legit like burst out laughing. I was like, <clears throat> it, it was, uh, it was like, f yeah, five parts of this movie where I just burst out laughing a little bit. And there's some that gave me a good belly laugh. It, 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 this movie is a lot. It's heartwarming. It's funny. It's sad. It's sweet. It's it's everything, and it all works well. There are some little flaws here and there, but um, I can I can I can I can't really overlook them, especially with the with the characters. I feel like I did enjoy the characters again, but I didn't. I, I still feel like they could have done uh, Peter Novak could have done more with those characters. But I understand that he was the, his character was the main focus, and so was just the story. But um, that that's pretty much really uh, it about this movie. Uh, with Vengeance, uh, it's sorry for the long review. I just went on a whole ramble because I just got back from it. I wanted to keep it on fresh, and I'm still really like blown away by this movie. Um, I'm sure when I sit on it, I don't think even my score is going to go down, because I still I'm still thinking about that whole ending, because the ending is my favorite part of this movie. The entire ending is just one big holy fuck. So, uh, so my final score of Vengeance. Uh, well, first off, overall, I love this movie. I loved it. Yes, it has flaws, and can't, again, like I said, can't really overlook them. But I don't really give a shit. Uh, I love this movie. I really do. So to be completely fucking honest with you, um, my final score for this movie will be a goddamn 9 out of 10. Uh, and I'm keeping it like that. Nine, you see that 9 out of 10? It's going to be right here or right here. I'm keeping that. That 9 out of 10 is staying. I, I just, I'm so completely blown away by this movie. It just surprised me. Uh, it just, it just, huh. Wow, I'm really shocked about this movie. I really am. I'm certain most people are going to give it the three stars or the four or the seven or any of that. I like to, I, again, I look at movies critically, but I also look at them at, uh, from a point of view of how I would enjoy the movie. How me personally, how I felt about the movie. And I love this movie in many ways. And just just an absolute blast. So that's uh, that's the end. That's our final score. 9 out of 10. I hope you guys enjoyed this review, this spoiler free such spoiler review where I just talk about, ramble on about how I much I kind of love, I basically love this movie. Uh, more videos will be soon to come. Sorry for being so long. Again, it's not going to be so long. It's about a, almost at the 20 minute mark. It's probably going to be about 18 minutes because of stuff I got to cut out. But uh, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, I hope you guys, if you can, please like, share, and subscribe. I really need to start catching on to this little script. I'm still a bit rusty to this whole thing. Um, yeah, if you guys can, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. For the little cut, I had a cough. Um, one thing I want to add is uh, a water burger because it's always there. If you see the movie, you will understand that reference. But I just wanted to end it off right there. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.